Plants are incredible. They are living wonders that surround us, silently contributing to the beauty and balance of our world. They have this amazing ability to grow throughout their lives, transforming from tiny seeds into magnificent structures. From tiny seeds to towering trees, growth is a fundamental characteristic of the plant kingdom. This process of growth is not just about getting bigger, it's about developing complexity and resilience. But have you ever wondered how plants actually grow? What mechanisms drive this continuous transformation? What is the secret behind their remarkable ability to increase in size and complexity? The answer is both fascinating and intricate. The answer lies in special tissues called meristems. These tissues are the unsung heroes of the plant world, tirelessly working to ensure growth and development. These are the engines of plant growth, the very places where new cells are born. Meristems are regions of undifferentiated cells that have the potential to become various types of plant tissues. Meristematic tissues are like tiny factories constantly producing the building blocks that allow plants to extend their roots, shoots and branches. They are responsible for the continuous production of new cells which then differentiate and specialise. Without meristems, plants would be frozen in time, unable to develop and thrive. These tissues are crucial for the plant's ability to adapt to its environment, repair damage and reproduce. In the following sections, we will delve into the fascinating world of meristematic tissues. We will uncover how these tissues function and their importance in the life cycle of plants. We will explore their types, structure and the crucial roles they play in shaping the plant kingdom. From apical meristems that drive vertical growth to lateral meristems that enable plants to grow in girth, each type has a unique and vital role. Get ready to discover the secrets of plant growth and the remarkable power of meristems. This journey will not only deepen your appreciation for plants, but also reveal the intricate and beautiful processes that sustain life on Earth. Imagine a plant as a living skyscraper. Just like a skyscraper, a plant needs a solid foundation, a robust structure and a continuous supply of resources to grow taller and stronger. To reach new heights, the building needs a constant supply of new materials and workers. These materials are essential for constructing new floors, reinforcing the structure and ensuring stability. That's precisely what meristematic tissues do for plants. They are the source of new cells, providing the raw materials needed for growth and development. They are the construction crews, the bricklayers and the architects of the plant world. These tissues work tirelessly, day and night, to build and expand the plant structure. Meristematic tissues are composed of cells that have a unique ability. They can divide indefinitely. This means they can produce an endless supply of new cells, which are essential for the plant's growth and repair. Unlike most plant cells, which specialize and lose their ability to divide, meristematic cells remain forever young, capable of producing new cells throughout the plant's life. This perpetual youthfulness allows the plant to continuously grow and adapt to its environment. This continuous cell division is the driving force behind plant growth. It enables the plant to extend its roots deeper into the soil, reach higher towards the sunlight, and spread its leaves wider to capture more light. These remarkable tissues are found in specific locations within the plant body, strategically positioned to facilitate growth in different directions. For instance, the tips of roots and shoots are primary growth zones where cells are actively dividing and elongating. Depending on their location and the type of growth they generate, meristematic tissues are broadly classified into three main types. Apical meristems, lateral meristems and intercalary meristems. Apical meristems are found at the tips of roots and shoots, driving vertical growth. Lateral meristems, on the other hand, are responsible for the plant's girth, allowing it to grow thicker and stronger. Intercalary meristems are located at the base of leaves or internodes, enabling the plant to grow in length. Each type plays a distinct role in shaping the plant's architecture and ensuring its survival. Apical meristems help the plant reach new heights and explore new territories. Lateral meristems provide the strength and support needed to withstand environmental challenges. Intercalary meristems allow for rapid growth and recovery, especially in grasses and other monocots. Together, these meristematic tissues form the engines of plant growth, driving the continuous development and adaptation of plants in their ever-changing environments. At the very tips of roots and shoots, like tiny crowns, lie the apical meristems. 
These are the pioneers of plant growth responsible for the plant's primary growth, the increase in length of roots and shoots. Imagine them as the fearless explorers, venturing into the soil and air, constantly seeking out new resources and opportunities for the plant. Apical meristems are the reason why roots burrow deep into the ground, anchoring the plant and absorbing water and nutrients. They are also behind the upward reach of shoots towards the sunlight, allowing plants to capture the energy they need for photosynthesis. The cells produced by apical meristems differentiate into various specialized tissues. Some become part of the protective outer layer of the plant, while others form the vascular tissues responsible for transporting water and nutrients. The continuous activity of apical meristems ensures that plants can explore their environment and compete for resources effectively. Section 4. Lateral meristems are growing girth. In this section we delve into the fascinating world of lateral meristems, the unsung heroes of plant growth that contribute to the increase in girth or thickness of stems and roots. While apical meristems drive the plant's upward and downward growth, Lateral meristems are responsible for the increase in girth or thickness of stems and roots. These meristems are crucial for the plant's ability to support itself as it grows larger and more complex. Think of them as the master builders, adding layers of cells that strengthen and support the plant's growing structure. Just like construction workers adding bricks to a building, lateral meristems add new cells to the plant's body, ensuring it remains sturdy and resilient. Two main types of lateral meristems contribute to this secondary growth, the vascular cambium and the cork cambium. Each plays a unique role in the plant's development, working in tandem to ensure the plant's overall health and stability. The vascular cambium produces new xylem and phloem cells, the pipelines that transport water and nutrients throughout the plant. These cells are essential for the plant's survival as they ensure that every part of the plant receives the necessary resources to thrive. As these new cells are added, the stem or root grows wider, providing a more robust transport system. This widening is crucial for the plant's ability to support its increasing size and to transport water and nutrients efficiently. The cork cambium, on the other hand, forms the outer bark of woody plants. This layer is not just for show, it serves a vital protective function. This protective layer shields the delicate inner tissues from damage and dehydration. The bark acts as a barrier against physical injuries, pests and diseases, ensuring the plant's longevity. The activity of lateral meristems is especially evident in trees where the annual growth rings visible in their trunks are a testament to the continuous work of these remarkable tissues. Each ring represents a year of growth, a record of the plant's life and the conditions it has endured. These growth rings not only tell the story of the tree's life, but also provide valuable information about historical climate conditions. Scientists can study these rings to understand past weather patterns, making trees living archives of environmental history. Lateral meristems are found in a wide variety of plant species, from towering trees to smaller shrubs. Their ability to adapt and function in different environments is a testament to the incredible versatility and resilience of plants. The continuous division and differentiation of cells in the lateral meristems ensure that plants can grow, adapt and thrive in a multitude of conditions. This dynamic process is a cornerstone of plant biology, highlighting the intricate and sophisticated mechanisms that sustain life. In conclusion, lateral meristems play a pivotal role in the growth and development of plants. They are the architects of a plant's girth, enabling it to stand tall, transport vital nutrients and protect itself from the elements. Understanding these processes gives us a deeper appreciation for the complexity and beauty of the natural world. Section 5. Intercalary meristems, growth between the lines. Imagine a blade of grass being grazed by a hungry herbivore. You might think that's the end of the grass's growth, but plants have a clever trick up their sleeve intercalary meristems. These unique meristems are located at the base of leaves and internodes, the regions between the nodes where leaves attach to the stem. Intercalary meristems allow for the rapid regrowth of leaves after being grazed or cut. They are the reason why your lawn bounces back after mowing and why certain plants can be repeatedly harvested for their leaves or stems. 
Intercalary meristems are particularly important for grasses and other monocots, which often lack lateral meristems and therefore cannot increase their stem thickness. By enabling growth from the base of the plant, intercalary meristems provide these plants with a mechanism for regeneration and survival in challenging environments.